Now our fifth, in our fifth and final section of the lecture, we will talk about the vaginal adenosis and sexually transmitted diseases. In this, we will specifically talk about vaginal adenosis and how we can manage it. What are the different sexually transmitted diseases and then some other miscellaneous problems. So vaginal adenosis. It is uh, common in teenagers who had DES exposure in uterus. So DES is the diethyl still pestrol. Usually uh, females uh, who are exposed to DES during pregnancy who take use DES, mothers who use DES for abortion or um, usually the girls or the ch 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 uh, baby who is born can have vaginal adenosis if they are exposed to uh, DES in utero. It's a benign condition. There is congenital ectopy present and there is infective discharge due to non-specific infection, trichomonas, trichomonas vaginalis or monelial infection, new growth from the vagina or cervix. So vaginal adenosis is the new growth of the tissue from cervix or vagina. You can see it's very uh, reddish there is congenital ectopy is present. Ectopy is the uh, presence of uh, epithelium, uh, con uh, uh, columnar epithelium instead of the normal squamous epithelium present at the birth. So there is also new growth from vagina or cervix. Management of vaginal, it can be by abdominal, bimanual, vaginal or rectal examination. So palpation can be from the abdomen or bimanual. Bimanual, this is the diagram that shows the bimanual examination. So uh, uh, one hand is on the abdomen and then push the uterus down and the other hand is in the vagina to feel if there is any uh, growth or a, a new tissue formation. And then ultrasound, CT scan, MRI can also be performed. Treatment, usually it is observed for three to six months. Uh, usually it resolves spontaneously. Masses that fail to resolve or masses with solid or multilocular appearance on uh, ultrasound uh, chemotherapy can be performed. Again, management laparoscopy can be performed to see the inside or visualize the inside structures, laparoscope. And then usually it's a conservative or uh, just to observe the inside condition. Sometimes uh, unilateral salpingo-ophorectomy or bilateral salpingo-ophorectomy in which there is removal of the fallopian tube and the ovary. Sexually transmitted diseases. These are some places on the body where sexually transmitted disease cause damage include reproductive organs, then the rectum and the mouth. So these are some common organism, uh, organs in the body where these which are affected by different STDs or sexually transmitted diseases, mainly in female cervix, uterus and fallopian tubes, in the males, urethra, testes and prostate, and then the mouth. Increasing amount of STDs in the adolescents, especially if they, if they use the unprotected sex or if the age of the sex is early. So it's very common among adolescents. Younger the age of first intercourse, the higher the risk of STDs. Chlamydia, HPV, which is human papillomavirus, HIV, 
gonorrhea, hepatitis B, syphilis, all these are different sexually transmitted diseases. Treatment is sex education is very, very common. Give them education about uh, how they can protect themselves by the use of uh, different uh, condoms and then other contraceptives. And then um, sex education is very important. Maintenance of perennial hygiene, use of condoms, then other miscellaneous problem is um, acne. You can see in this diagram, acne is due to excess androgen secretion by the adrenal glands. This is the acne. Then we have uh, obesity. This is uh, best assessed by calculating the body mass, mass index, usually due to overeating and constitutional, and it can be manifestation of Cushing syndrome. Then abnormal height, uh, hypersecretion of the growth hormone or due to primary ovarian failure. So these are all different uh, miscellaneous problems that can be in the adolescence age. We have acne, a lot of girls, especially in the uh, age of puberty, they have this problem, but it can be due to excess androgen secretion by the adrenal gland. And then excessive growth or excessive height can be due to increased production of growth hormone by the interior pituitary that leads to excessive height or uh, females are taller than normal or maybe due to primary ovarian failure. So that was all about the different disorders that affect the age of infants to adolescents and in which we cover different problems that affect the infants, toddlers, uh, premenarchal, perimenarchal, and adolescence age. So thank you for watching scardia.com.